things. I don't know about the people that test my information. Sarah, I want me to say that. Is it just me or you always find me wrong about everything? Sorry, is that your fiery temperament speaking? No, it is me containing my frustration, but it can get much worse. I like to see that. Keep pushing and you may witness it with hand. Very well, Sarah. Temper is as much part of our arsenal as intelligence. It can ignite change. You're angry with me and I don't know why. Because you blindly follow the conventional wisdom. Why should I offend you? You soak it up like a sponge, Sarah. You don't even question it. Can you tell me what I've done wrong? You see, Sarah, your principal error is believing that people's views are all crucial. Why are you not your Democrats? Yes, we have. We are, and we are working to improve people's lives. But well, isn't our aim to serve them, to be a voice for them, to shine light to see the darkness they've always been kept in deliberately? Indeed, but we must advance their fortune without having any respect for their opinion. But isn't that a contradiction? The people's opinion disrespected, but yet we're advancing them. This contribution should win a Guinness World Record. Our job is to lead these people, not to follow them blindly. We have to keep our eyes open. But we also have to stay in touch. We have to understand what the people want, don't we? No, I believe people don't know what they want only they have it. How can you be so sure? Are you calling them fools? People with no brains? No, no. How, how can you call them fools? Because nothing worthwhile has ever been achieved without resistance. And have that resistance always been wrong-headed? Have the people always been wrong resisting what they feel is not good for them? I believe it is. Sometimes to build a road, you have to knock down some houses. People scream and criticize yeah. saying that um, you have to, why would you have to um, knock down these houses? But then, when you finish building these roads, these same people are the ones that will come and tell them selfies, <laughs> taking pictures on this same road. People lack imagination. Our job is to provide it. And what if the leader errs? What if they make mistakes? Shouldn't they be answerable? They're human beings. People kill. Answerable to who? To the people, James. The people. They have accountability and transparency. Well, say actually make a valid point. Thank you. As a leader, I want to make a tough decision. You have to be answerable to people you say. You have to make a balance strike between leading and listening. Exactly. We don't disregard the importance of public opinion. Of course. It's our duties as journalists to bridge the gap between the people and those in power. As a journalist in the society, that's our responsibility. Hmm. We can be their voice and still be leading them and guiding them. I think I can see where you're coming from. I think we can understand with you. Indeed, Sarah. I think it's time for us to work together to ensure that the public's right to know is respected. Oh, yes, exactly. Oh, as you now, can see. As you can see. I think we have, I have work to do. <laughs> <laughs>